tonight to publicly, publicly declare my love and admiration for Ellen DeGeneres. Right? Right? She is one of the very few people in this universe that can make me laugh so hard that I end up in tears and then truly within seconds do something so generous that I end up crying my eyes out even more for a very different reason. And Ellen has dedicated her entire life to putting love and putting kindness into this world. And she doesn't take that task lightly. She approaches every act of giving with the strength of a determined warrior. And in conjunction with her amazing show, she has tirelessly raised staggering amounts of money, over $50 million to date, right? It's remarkable. And, and count for countless charities and causes, she is a relentless champion for abused and mistreated animals that have no voice of their own. Uh, she fights on behalf of those being bullied for victims of domestic violence, of survivors of unimaginable natural disasters. She brings awareness to important issues like global warming and racism, world hunger, children's health issues, and breast cancer research. And, and that's truly, truly just scratching the surface. When, when she hears about a family in need somewhere, anywhere, truly anywhere, she is the first to step in and to help them. Ellen DeGeneres may be the most passionate and busiest woman alive. And, and I'm pretty sure that she is nowhere near done. is a comedian and I wanted to make people happy and I wanted to make people laugh and this has turned into something so much better for me that I get to change people's lives. I just want to say thank you because for five years you've been my chemo buddy every night and you've helped me go to sleep with a laugh and I just thank you from the bottom of my heart. It looks like a war zone. We can't forget this. Thousands and thousands of people have lost their homes, lost their lives. We have to care about these people. Ellen's helped raise over $10 million. devastated over the death of 18-year-old Tyler Clementi. This needs to be a wake-up call to everyone that teenage bullying and teasing is an epidemic in this country and the death rate is climbing. And I want anyone out there who feels different and alone to know that I know how you feel. I think people are going to be who they're going to be and we need to learn to love them for who they are and let them love who they want to love. Thank you so much for watching the show every day. You are the greatest. Oh, we're saying you inspire me for everything. Oh, well, you're so sweet. This is like a game. Oh, my God. You just made my day. Oh, I'm so glad. Well, you just made my day, Alex. to this prestigious award, Walgreens is donating $100,000 to the recipients of charity of uh, Ellen's Choice, and she has chosen, chosen, sorry, she has chosen to benefit St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure and honor to present the award once again this year for favorite talk show host and the favorite humanitarian award to my friend, Ellen DeGeneres. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, wow. Thank you so much. And Melissa, that was, thank you. Yeah, I love you. And what wonderful things you said. You forgot gorgeous, but that's okay. <laughs> this is uh, crazy. I mean, so, so deserved, but this is crazy. <laughs> I mean, I, I, uh, I can't tell you how much this means to me. I, I started my show and I just set out uh, really just to make people happy and make people laugh and to get very, very rich. And um, <laughs> I certainly didn't set out to, to win any of the many, 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 many awards I have received over the past years. Uh, but I have to say it's, it's a little strange to actually get an award for being nice and generous and kind, which is what we're all supposed to do with one another. That's the point of being a human. I mean, would I call myself the Mother Teresa of talk shows, the Dalai Lama of daytime? No. But I'm sure someone out there has. I don't think you have to have a talk show to, uh, to be nice to people, to, to do what I'm doing. Um, I just think that kindness is something that we should all have. That's an innate quality that we have and we need to, we need more of that out there. I read uh, uh, an amazing quote uh, recently, what if there was no such thing as love, just proof of love. I don't know if it was from the Bible or an Instagram, but it was really powerful to me. <laughs> so my wish is for, uh, and, and uh, we have a lot of people watching in a lot of different countries, and I want everyone to know that uh, we all really, really love one another. Deep down, we all love one another, and we need to get back to that. My wish is that we all try. We need more of that right now in the world. So um, I want, that is what most of us feel. I want to thank Walgreens for being so generous tonight. They've donated $100,000 to one of my favorite charities, St. Jude's Children's Hospital, and I, of course, want to thank the people. Thank you, people. Thank you, People's Choice people. And uh, for this amazing, amazing honor and uh, for, for making, you know, here's the thing. Awards are great, uh, it, it, but really what, I, what makes me happy is making other people happy. And tonight I want to make you happy. So I would like to share with you, I brought a shirtless photo of Chris Hemsworth to share. You're welcome. Thank you so much, everybody. Be kind to one another. Thank you.